<clears throat> all right, Shalom. All praise on and glory to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. And double honors to my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone GMS. All right. Peace and blessings to the elect. Okay, this is the brother Atazaria from GMS Houston. Okay, yes, Houston. Okay, and this is a, a actual photo that I took this morning, okay, from the uh the from my vantage point. Okay, from what I'm able to see from the window where I'm at. Okay, and yes, this is Houston, Texas. Okay, covered in snow. All right, and we've been without uh, lights and a lot of people without lights and water since uh, 2 a.m. last night. Okay, and right now it is 3.30. Okay. <laughs> And I'll check that in a second, okay? <clears throat> so, yeah, all this is, man, is the Most High is just, he's, he's sending out judgments, okay? And as we've said time and time again, 2020 was just a warm-up for 2021. This year is going to be far worse than anybody could have imagined 2020 even being, okay? And this is just one of the... Uh, one of the signs, okay, because uh, here in Houston, they're not really that prepared for um, snow, and I, okay, I'll call it brother back in a second, okay, they're not prepared for uh, snow and ice, man, okay, and um, these people out here, you know, I went to the grocery store yesterday, I, I go to the store, the grocery store nearly every day, I live, that's how I live, okay, I live like I'm like I'm all I'm always traveling. Me and a brother had that conversation last night. You know, I'm always traveling. I'm always moving. Okay, I don't have a set place or anything like that. You know, but um, again, this is just uh the Most High visiting the earth with the which He made. Okay, as a matter of fact, we'll start off there. Okay, let's go to the Book of Second Esdras. Okay, and let's see. I just started one. Um, you know what? I always started one. Let me go back to Second Esdras eight. Um, and I'm gonna start at verse sixty-one. This is Second Esdras eight and sixty-one. It says, "And therefore is my judgment now at hand." These things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee, okay? And a few like thee, okay? The prophets of the Lord, okay? Or like Esdras, okay? Those are like, like men, okay? So these secrets, these things have been revealed to men like Esdras, to prophets, men of the Lord, okay? It says, but unto thee and a few like thee. Then answered I and said, Behold, O Lord, now hast thou showed me the multitude of thy one of the wonders which thou will begin to do in the last times. Okay? This is a small wonder, all right, because half the city is without power. Okay? And as I said, the people here are not prepared for this. Okay, from city management all the way down to its citizens. Okay. They're not used to this, okay? And I've been hearing little conversations here and there. People are, are, are in a, you know, they up, they, they don't know what to do. Okay, you got food, but you can't cook it. Okay, you got water, but it's free, it's ice cold. Now what? Okay. It says, um, which thou will begin to do in the last times, because we are in the last times. Okay, but at what time thou hast not shoot me? Okay. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. So you will know, okay, what's going on, what things are happening, okay? So I'll know because it wasn't showed, but I'll know due to the things that are taking place. Oh, well, the scripture said that earthquakes and uproars of the people. Oh, okay, say that. Yeah, this is what the, the last times are supposed to look like. All this stuff, it's a, 
in the scriptures, all this stuff will be happening in the last times. So guess what? Guess what we are? Okay. Let me select it. Let me pause it. All right, select you for that. Okay. Uh, the damn fire alarm start going off. So we know what that's all about. That's just Satan trying to hinder the word. But ain't nothing going to stop this word, man. Okay. First of all, it done already went out. Okay. And um, back to what we were. Okay. We were in 2nd Estrus, uh 8. And I'm going to read 62 once again. Okay. These things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee and a few. Okay. Because there's only a few men of the Lord. Okay. Compared to the people that are on this planet. We are a very small number. Lord willing, I'm of those men. Let me say that, okay? You know, I'm not trying to be proud or, or, or boast myself at all. You know, humbly saying, Lord willing, I'm one of those men, okay? Hey, I'll say this, though. You know, this is what those men will be doing, okay? So, again, Lord willing, you know, I am um, Second Ezra 8 and 63, Behold, O Lord, now hast thou showed me the multitude of the wonders which thou wilt begin, see, begin to do in the last times. So these things, this is beginning of the last times. All right. These are the things that he's beginning to do all the way up into where it speaks about in the book of Daniel, a day like there has never been. Okay. Uh, Bishop Nate. Okay. All the way up into uh, the Third World's War. And before that, Jacob's Trouble, uh, the Hour of Temptation, okay? Bad times on the horizon, okay? These are all going to be wonders that the Heavenly Father is going to show. Look at all the earthquakes that's taking place. They just had a major earthquake. Um, it was a seven point something. Uh, I got it in my phone. As a matter of fact, when I'm done with the lesson, I'll go and put it in the uh, comment section. Okay. But yeah, they just had a strong, powerful quake, a 7.0, you know, uh, just this le this week that passed. I can't remember exactly where it was, Salakia, but I will post it. Okay. Um. So these are the, the wonders of the heavenly that the heavenly father is showing here in these last times all right because we are in the last times all right so let me read on all right um second Esdras, uh 8 and 63 behold O lord now thou hast showed me the multitude so there'll be a multitude of wonders again this is one of many all right which thou will begin to do in the last times but at what time thou hast not showed me okay so we'll know based off of the things that are taking place and then the next chapter goes right into it all right second interest nine and one he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself okay and we use our measurement stick is this word okay this is the standard this is the uh ruler okay that we use to measure these times okay it says, he answered me then and said, measure the other time diligently, okay? So we have to stay on top of it, okay? We can't, a week go by and we ain't paid attention to what's going on in the world. No, we have to be on it every day, diligently, okay? Diligently, okay? And more so in this time, okay? More so in this time, okay? The urgency is great, Okay? This is not something to be taken lightly at all, okay? And it's a blessing to even know, to even have to understand it to measure the time, okay? Diligently, all right, in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, okay? And like the scriptures say, Matter of fact, let me just grab it, all right? Because I just wanted to show what was going on in Houston because this filters right through the scriptures, okay? Let's get Romans 13 and 11, and it reads, And that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake to awake 
out of sleep. What's being in 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 what's being asleep? That don't mean you laying in the bed snoozing. You know, uh, literally. Okay, it means to wake up out of the sleep of this world, to wake up out of that darkness of this world, the gross darkness that's covered this world. Wake up out of that. Come back to your power. Come back to your nationality. Okay. Redeem the time because the days are evil. Okay. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. All right. Because time is, is, is running out very fast. Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time. That now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believed. Okay. So we're about to get out of here. Okay. Let's go back to 2nd Ezra 9. And let's finish it out. 9 and 2. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time. Wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Then shalt thou well understand. Okay. It should really be hitting home right now. The scriptures say, well, understand. Okay. Meaning you fully understand. All right. You should well understand. This is it. Because all the signs and wonders are taking place. This is just one of many. Okay. It's snowing in Houston. All right. Um, then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee. Even from the beginning, okay? And in verse 3, it says, uproars of the people and earthquakes, man. People in the world, we definitely see that on a grand scale, man. Okay? Look at Haiti. Look at Myanmar, all right? Just to name a couple, okay? Look over there in, in Israel, all right? Those Orthodox uh, Khazars, all right? Look how they uh, uproar, Okay? And that's just to name a few. Okay, there's even uh, uproars of the people in Russia, places where, you know, used to be, uh, you couldn't say nothing against the government. You get your head cracked in and they'll never find you again. Okay, even in Russia, even in China. Okay. In these communist countries. Okay. It says, then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world had the beginning. Yeah, this world had a beginning and an end. And it also has an end. And the end is manifest. We're seeing the end play out right before our eyes. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Okay, again, this is many wonders of the Heavenly Father. Okay, that will be taking place in these last days. <laughs> that some tired of solicitors okay and ain't number satan again all right so satan and, and up jumped the boogie like a few times during this lesson man okay with the exception of the brother calling that that wasn't satan okay um so lord willing this was edifying all praise on and glory again goes to yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham rachakadash and double honors to my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. It's on to the next one. Be prepared to see more. Okay. And with that, I say shalom.